Hey everybody! Back again! What's up? I guess again is uh, Mike McGinn again! What's up, Mike? Hello! How's it going? Good, good. Well, the host good, of Meltdown good, Island good. and playing a home team member. And I don't know if you got anything else going on, but. Training Center Director? Training Center Director. All around Mastermind. Where do yeah, people I mean, sign up for your improv classes? Um, they don't because of the quarantine, Jim. Yeah. Um, you might be aware that there's a global pandemic that people are starting to think is is not a big deal anymore. And uh, let's see what happens when people yeah. <laughs> see it getting more. I ain't going enough. outside. <laughs> nope, me either. But when I do, I'll bring some guns because that seems to be the new. <laughs> Instead of waving, you just wave your gun at people now. <laughs> yeah. No shaking hands. Gun -based. Don't touch me. And I... Six feet. Stay back. Six feet. Six feet. Yeah. Everything's gun based. I went and bought an ice cream the other day, and there was a it was came in a gun. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and it was a yeah. sixteen year old girl running it too, so she's like, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> Please don't make me shoot. So many dead customers in front of that ice cream. <laughs> It's terrible. Uh, please don't be my first kill. <laughs> Hi, Thunder God. What's up? Uh, yeah, you got a character, Mike? You've been thinking of a name? Um, your I don't know. I don't have anything to set. Uh, but okay, think it's really easy. All you do is you think a movie you like, okay. or the first movie you can remember, okay, and then okay. just say the plot of that movie. <laughs> Yeah, we've done that many a times, yeah. All right. Well, the, one of the very early movies I remember watching was Excalibur. Excalibur, oh, okay. Excalibur. <laughs> the John Borman 1980s spectacular, which is super weird. Oh, a yeah. super weird version of the King Arthur tale. Yeah. So who's the main character? Uh, King Arthur is. King Arthur, okay. Mm -hmm. We can do a fancy so... tale. Yeah, let's do it. We can do kind of King make Arthur. them like non-king. Like we can just make them more like modern day you know what i mean you can make them less tied to his time and just make it about like the people in that in the same thing you are arthur you could this computer seems to recognize like a uh, role-playing fantasy genres really well oh okay it can do that yeah i remember when this was on google, google collab man what a how far it's come <laughs> how long ago did this ai engine when did it originate uh, I think AI Dungeon 2 came out in December, like December 17th. It still is, though. You can still run it on, yeah, collab. Yeah, and hmm. it's still glitchy, but yeah. Uh, much less so. Uh, you are Arthur, King of... Oh, you got it, Mike? Oh, I was going to type... I didn't no, know... No, go for it, go for it. Jim yeah. was typing for the longest. No, no, get it. I'm not typing it. anything. Type it in, I don't type it anything. In. <laughs> it's so hard to tell with your half head. <laughs> well, it's hard to tell if I'm saying something, but if I'm typing something, that it'll show up. All right. Oh, Karen, a blonde-haired manager caller. All right. We'll have to encounter Karen in the story here. Or oh, she could Karen. be the next one. I thought that was a derogatory term, like boomer. Karen. Or zoomer. Karen. Uh, it is kind of, right? A little bit. Until so you meet someone that's the total Karen. We and type that like... uh, character in and then... Oh, yeah. And that exclamation next in... is before everything. So you are... Oh, exclamation point next. That's right. I forgot. Uh, yeah. You are King Arthur, the creator of the famous flower brand. All right. Okay. And then we can do like next and or um Hello! <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That, um, there's a lot of new stuff from last time here. <laughs> just just ignore it. It's mainly just noises. Yeah. So do I put like you are at? I can't remember. Like you yeah, are. Yeah. So like yeah, uh, there's a there's an example right above it. Yeah. Come oh, on, look. An example for Santa um, Claus. K. 
King Arthur Flower. Where is that? Milwaukee? Is that a Milwaukee company? I don't know. I'm going to look it up. First thing that pops up on Google, King Arthur Flower. What an ego behind whoever made King Arthur Flower, though. <laughs> like, for the most blandest thing. My white flower <laughs> is for kings. <laughs> Like, Boston, okay, Massachusetts, down. Huh? 1790. Whoa. Okay, maybe that's why. <laughs> wow. Founded founded in 1790? That's when, like, people... I mean, still, like, on horses and stuff. Yeah, what horrible atrocities <laughs> did they have to do to stay... They <laughs> They didn't even have, like, telegraph. Huh? This was before, like, the first train, I think. 1790. I think so. Here we go. You are at a small forest clearing. A rock sits in the center pierced through with a sword. Okay. The sword is made from an oak tree and the blade is made from a deer antler. Oh. It mm. looks like it could cut through flesh, but your arm is not a good candidate for such a task. Oh. You look around you and see several other weapons. They all have different materials, but they all work oh. well enough to kill someone. Okay, I got, I got something. Okay, all right. Yeah, I hope, I hope any weapon can kill someone. I hope <laughs> not weapons can kill someone. Yeah, I mean, I don't like killing people, but I mean, weapons are created for that, right? Yeah. Yeah, leave the sword. You yeah, pick no. up and try out the sweet nunchucks. Uh -huh. They feel very nice on your hand and you can tell that they will be effective against someone's skull. The wooden handle feels soft and comfortable to hold. You put them in your pocket and take another one out of the pouch. This time you put it into your mouth and chew on it. It <laughs> tastes really bad, but you know it's going to help you survive this situation. All right. <laughs> We're teething. And, uh... <laughs> hmm. Let's see here. Soft and comfortable. I'm just imagining a forest clearing. It's full of weapons. It's like mm -hmm. a, a weapon cache of magic things. All kinds of different weapons. I think I, mean, I got to check out these other weapons. Sorry, I had to fulfill you the show the nunchucks to Karen, a blonde-haired manager caller. She takes one out of her pocket and puts it in her mouth. <laughs> she chews and swallows it down. Whoa, then she oh, shows it to you. This thing works, she says excitedly. That's how I'm do. so glad I found it. <laughs> Karen just ate our nunchucks. That is... Oh, we were trying to alpha <laughs> Karen work. by being like, look at our nunchucks, Karen. And then she... She made us a beta by eating our nunchucks and then vomiting. Yeah, the I'm like, yeah, really. Now it's like, what do you want to do, Karen? Yeah. Let's go with your idea. She's like, mm. <laughs> and, uh, and she sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Her nunchucks give me power. <laughs> I think maybe she has a, a special weapon that's letting you her. You ask Karen what uh -huh. magical weapon lets her eat other weapons. Yes. She tells you that it doesn't let anyone else do so either. <laughs> what? Okay, a little <laughs> confusing. <It's the> <laughs> it's the demon inside me. I can't tell you too much. <laughs> Couldn't even have said that. Oh, Jason, I was like being embarrassed of eating, but now I see that you're eating. I, I'm, I'm eating orange. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're fine. Eating. You're fine. Sorry, That's Thunder God. I need this orange. I've been eating my like garbage all day. Guys. Was that ramen? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Good. I make a um I don't use the sauce. You I don't tell use Karen to stop giving you sass and duel her already. Choose your weapon, Karen. You say, greater than you give her the sword, give me the sword. She replies. Karen grabs the sword and holds it out to you. You grab it and she slaps you across the face. 
Whoa. You don't even realize it because you're still holding the nunchucks, but then she throws oh. you off of her again. Wow, she's fast. Like, we're like so shocked yeah. she slapped us with a sword. God damn. Turns out she's a better king than we are. Yeah. <laughs> you start doing nunchuck tricks. Now try to get... She starts laughing and tells you to get back. Uh, she kicks you in the balls hard and you fall over. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yep, that sounds like she's uh, using her hand. Held in anger from quarantine. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yep, that sounds right. At festering rage. <laughs> <laughs> You say, God damn Karen. I am your king. Greater than you fight her, Karen, you need to choose now. You say, Karen smiles and raises the sword. What are you waiting for? She asks. Whoa. Fight me or die. Karen begins to swing the sword at you. Whoa. No, I won't lose my honor fighting you, you scream. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've caught me, boy. <laughs> you say karen are you secretly merlin greater than you dodge and punch her you quickly duck under her swing and throw a right hook at her head Dang. she dodges and blocks with her left hand you keep dodging and punching her until she falls backwards and lands hey. on the ground All you stand up and walk towards her she stands up slowly and sees that you are stronger than she thought really? yeah. well you got me yeah, I agree, Thunder God. It's kind of amazing. It's like, it's kept the fact that we're fighting. Yeah. It's remembered that. It's like three or four prompts now. Uh, yeah, I guess it likes fighting. When it, when you like say a word or something, when you get into a story that it likes, it just, yeah, it really builds upon it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> wow, just when she gives up, you throw dirt in her face. <laughs> <laughs> you throw dirt in Karen's face. She gets mad and punches you twice more in the stomach. You turn around and kick her in the crotch, knocking her down. You continue kicking her as she tries to crawl away. Why did you do that? She cries out. Because if I didn't, you would have died there. <laughs> okay, Arthur. <laughs> yeah. He would have died there. It's healthy dirt. I had to coagulate your wounds. <laughs> Probiotics. <laughs> you kick your heart so it beats, yeah. You are having an episode. <laughs> an episode of me kicking the shit out of you. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. You're in back on track. Yeah. All right, good, Jim. I need to put these <laughs> gun chucks away and go back to the forest. You say, <laughs> chill out, Karen. Stop being so pissy and remember why we came here. We need to get E-X-A-L-I-B-U-R. <laughs> you run over to Excalibur and pull it out of its place. Karen, what are you doing? Why did you attack me? You say, Excalibur. don't you remember? You were trying to kill me when you attacked me. Karen gets angry and yells, you're not the one in charge here. Okay, I'm wow. The king. I, I, I mean, I agree. Right. Karen is definitely the one in charge here. Karen, call the manager, because I am the manager. We're king of England. Give her cupcakes? Yeah, maybe cupcakes is the way to Karen's heart. Uh, what's the best story we've had? Uh, there's been quite a few of them. Uh, I like the one with the dildonics. Dildonics, yeah, teledildonics. <laughs> or uh there was one where ronald reagan shot a nuke out of the sky that he sent at the white house and forgot about it you say i'm literally the one in charge karen i'm king arthur the true king of england you point his finger at karen and say if you want to live then you better listen to me fine king arthur but only if you promise me something first yes yes what is it 
Please, oh please don't kill me. You smile and nod. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Establish dominance, and then let Karen know she's still in charge. Please don't kill me. Yeah, really. Please. I thought she was Karen. gonna. I thought she was gonna ask for like free coupons or vouchers or something. <laughs> Just give us a hundred dollars and gift cards to McDonald's, and I won't make a scene. That's all. Uh, yeah, Thunder God, I've seen some of those on the uh, uh, Reddit for AI Dungeon. And it is pretty crazy. You say, <laughs> Karen, the manager is me. You say, so you agree, huh? Yes, I think I do. You say, good, now that we agreed, let's go back to the castle. Karen <laughs> nods and walks with you back to the castle. When you enter the castle, you find that it has changed quite a bit. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> Karen's done a little bit of a redecorating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 loud. You have my mouth here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> decorate my castle? You ask Karen, did you decorate? She responds, yes, I did. You say, oh, great, I was hoping you wouldn't spend too much money on decorations, because I hate them. But it's fine, I'll deal with it later. You sit on a throne and wait for the manager, who comes walking and carrying a big bag. He opens it and hands you a sword. Oh, what? Well, the lady of the lake is uh, yeah. the manager, I guess. The lady of the lake is the manager of the king, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Arthur, why is there pictures of, uh, Karen's family all over the castle now? And what's with <laughs> all the cats? <laughs> Didn't think you liked cats. Karen, I don't like shabby chic. Okay, yeah, this yeah. is... You say, Lancelot, I need you, he says. He pulls out his sword and points it at you, saying, now, kill him. Whoa. You look at the sword and hold it like a gun. Okay, I guess. Yeah. You point the sword at him and fire the blade. <laughs> Lancelot blocks the blow and swings his sword. You block the strike and hit him in the chest. Fight what? We're fighting <laughs> Lancelot now, and we shot it like a gun. Yeah, we shot the sword like the gun, and... And it worked, so I guess, you know. But we blocked the strike and then hit him in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> Be cool! You say, cool it, everyone. Be cool. You laugh as he drops the sword. You walk into the room where the manager is sitting. The manager looks surprised to see you. He turns around and runs back to the door to hide. You walk up to him. He screams and falls backward onto the floor. Oh. You pick him backward. up by his shirt and toss him against the wall. Whoa. Hmm. Is this the manager? We're the manager now. Hmm. We're our own manager. <laughs> <laughs> you said that to him like yeah you say you say puts a hat oh on that says goodness. cool it the manager's <laughs> eyes roll into the back of his head and he slumps forward you stand up and forward. walk toward the door come on let's go you shout you open the door and walk outside you see the city a lot has changed since last time you were here you can see many buildings have been destroyed yeah, it is kind of like a beam in Zelda when you got full health, you shoot out little mini swords. Yep. Oh, yeah. And it's time to check out the city. You tell the squire boy to bring your horse. You walk through the streets. I the you see several people running about. Some are armed, some aren't. 
You say, whoa, watch this guy. You grab a man and slam him against a building. Why? He screams and knocks himself unconscious. <laughs> you grab another man and slam him against the wall. He screams and knocks himself unconscious. <laughs> what? That's just they how did? you greet us. We've we've made a law. If we grab you, you better knock yourself unconscious or you're going to jail. I like how we're just banging their heads against walls and we're saying that they knock themselves unconscious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he did it. It wasn't me. I'm the king. Yep. He did it. So Arthur kind of <laughs> rules his kingdom with fear, I, I feel like. Yeah. But why are you knocking yourself unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Please, people. <laughs> I've got Excalibur. You say everyone knock yourself unconscious or I'll kill you. You walk alongside the crowd. You hear someone yell, ah. You turn around and see a group of soldiers shooting guns at them. <laughs> they shoot bullets all over the street. You turn around and start running. The soldier catches up to you. Where are you going? Revolution. You say, to the army barracks, they're probably already busy with something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, when did everybody get guns? Yep. <laughs> uh, there was a technology revolution that's leading to the actual revolution. I feel like we just like time jumped into like it's like civilization where like the next town over is like already in, in uh the gun stage yep. they have a yeah. space launch ready to go <laughs> you yeah. have archers meanwhile arthur's <laughs> over here shooting swords and using nunchucks on people yeah there we go <laughs> okay you spell that right <laughs> well, it's gonna, it's gonna spell it out for us, yeah. Seems to think you shoot the soldiers out. with your sword, Excalibur. Oh. Greater than you go to the army barracks, you follow the squire boy to the army barracks. There are many military trucks parked outside. The squire boy leads you inside. Inside, there are soldiers everywhere. Uh -oh. Most of them are armed. Uh. One of them tells you to stop. The soldier grabs you by the collar and pushes you against a wall. Uh-oh. Again, okay, I, I got wall. Uh, I got an idea here. Okay, good. Do you want me to knock myself unconscious? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Something like <laughs> yeah. that. Um, okay. <laughs> I uh, whisper to I knock yourself unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> well, with your guns, I guess I gotta do what you say. Now I know how. My uh, people felt I did that to them. I know the errors of my way now. See Karen making a giant gun. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, you're behind this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> We're really going crazy with this, yeah. Might as well go for it. Uh -huh. yeah. You the soldiers bring you to an alien spaceship that was down the night before. You soldier asks you, do you know how to fly this thing? You respond, no, not yet anyway. The soldier shoves you against the wall again and says, no lying now. He takes out an electronic pad and writes something down on a piece of paper. He then puts it away and smiles at you. He says, this will work. He starts tapping on the keyboard and a small window appears. Hello, Karen. Please enter your password. Uh, <laughs> for solidarity, right. you know, so people know who's <laughs> in charge. You whisper to the solider, knock yourself unconscious, you're making me look stupid in front of everyone. 
The soldier nods and begins tapping on the keyboard. A large there. screen shows, knock yourself unconscious, written across <laughs> it. That's yeah. awesome. You look at the screen and realize what the soldier just said. You look at the screen and realize what the soldier just said. Mm -hmm. You say, I've done it. You begin to fall asleep. Oh. We did, that, we that's did. how we knock ourselves unconscious. We just go to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, Karen, you, you promote yourself. Karen to your mistress. Oh, okay. She is happy to be promoted. <laughs> She's just happy to be promoted. Not as your mistress, but any promotion's a good promotion. These days. Epilogue. That's the epilogue. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's a nice, nice end to that story. Pretty that's awesome. A good one. Yeah. Not sure it's all... No, nah, I'd say only 30%. Not enough for, uh... Yeah. Not for the soundboard. No deaths. Yeah, no deaths. Two no fallbacks. Whoopies. No kills. But lots of gunfire, though. So surprising yeah. that there's no kills. <laughs> a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Too. Yeah. It's like 4th of July, they were just shooting off their guns. Like, yeah, this is how we celebrate! <laughs> uh, anybody in chat got a suggestion for a character? Or a mug if you got something. How about um Hmm. How about Skeletor? Hell yeah. Let's do it. All yeah, right. Type it in there. Do it for the first one, do I just type next again or is it uh, you? yeah, next and then space. You are Skeletor. Anything special about this version of Skeletor? Now, is this like college Skeletor, juvenile Skeletor? Is it after he became super evil? I don't know. He needs Skeletor. So, this is like canon. You are Skeletor, enemy to He-Man and true leader of Eternia. Oh. Whoa. All right. Okay. Did it change the thing? Uh, that's what the hell is for. Hello! There we go. Oh, okay. so that was the what's prompt Skeletor? You are, and now you need a prompt to see what's going on. Yeah. Like what's happening. Uh, what would Skeletor be doing? Probably trying uh, to kill He Man. Yeah, scheming or executing an existing scheme. How about, like, yeah, how about a teenage Skeletor, like you were saying, though? So this is okay, before, so he's just like, like yeah. He like He Man babies, kind of. Yeah. He's like dowsing off in math class. He Man's yeah. like the Car City <laughs> Wrestling. Like team. <laughs> Man, or he's like in a band after school. Mm hmm. Like super angry, it's like Slipknot kind of music. Yeah. <laughs> My pain is all I can bear. <laughs> and then Human's like the popular kid in school. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, nerd? <laughs> I've got the power to turn off this radio station. <laughs> All right. You sitting in high school detention. The walls feature pictures of the quarterback, He-Man. He's a total dick, you think to yourself. Greater than you go to the bathroom you take a deep breath and head into the ladies' room. The first thing you notice is that it smells like pee. Then you smell your own piss. This must be what it feels like to have a woman touch your cock. I'm going to die today, you say to yourself. You walk out of the restroom feeling disgusting. Okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> how coherent it was last story is off the rails. 
<laughs> way yeah. off the rails right from the start. <laughs> it's um, like fucking so intense. I'm going to die today. You say to yourself, you walk out of the restroom feeling disgusting. I like that. I I'd like to think that he man has belittled you so much that he's like, go to the woman's room. You you don't have a penis. You're not allowed in the men's room, Skeletor. And we're like, okay. Where and where does the pee come from? From Skeletor? <laughs> does it just materialize? The big toe. <laughs> I mean, we really don't know. Yeah. I mean, he could be a, a person with a see-through body. You hear a loud explosion. Yeah. It's the M80 firecracker that you threw oh, in the ladies' a toilet. Prankster, a you look at the wall picture of He-Man. He looks so happy with his new girlfriend. <laughs> you wonder if he really is He-Man. Maybe this is some kind of fantasy. You decide to check on the situation. We're going to football practice. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's stop by and see what uh what he's up to. Yeah. We got our rage out with the M80. <laughs> <laughs> Also, that sounds like kind of like a a men's room that smells like piss. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of ladies' room? This is, must be like a rough school. Well, I'll tell you, I worked at some retail establishments, and the women's room, women's room was always immaculate, either worse or just as bad. Oh, as Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, in okay. retail environments, uh, Pier One Imports. Woof! I got some horror stories for that. Yeah, because they use all kinds of products. And uh, you know, like well, makeup and other very things. Very disgusting women out there in this world that are that are just as disgusting as any man. Yeah. But oh, okay. They can hold their own in the disgusting realm for sure. Deal is girl. That's a good idea, Chumpy. Oh, that is a good idea. I like that. You are sitting on the bleachers at the football field. You watch he man carefully for signs of weakness or fakery. <laughs> There is none. He oh. always does exactly as he says. There you is, can't yeah. believe it. In There's fact, him. you're starting to feel good about yourself. You've been spending too much time on the internet lately. You should get off. He man, oh, is we'll that you? Off. A voice calls from behind you. You turn around and see a tall, thin man wearing glasses. Mr. Skeletor. <laughs> hey, Dan. <laughs> Either, yeah, like our dad or <laughs> yeah. He-Man's dad, dad or probably principal. were He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, it's just my shitty son. Oh, well. <laughs> Wish you were He-Man. Thanks, Dad. You keep telling us that every day. Doesn't mean we're going to turn into He-Man. Oh, here we go. Yeah, just lie. <laughs> All right. Maybe All right. our dad's got, like, bad vision or something. This might confuse the computer, though. You say, Hello? yes, I am He-Man. How can I help you? <laughs> oh, no, not yet. We haven't even met, the man replies. <laughs> no, we have not. But thanks for talking to me anyway. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could use some entertainment right yeah. now. What do you want? A little amusement, but more than that. I need you to help me destroy something important. <laughs> oh, we can do that. He needs us to destroy something. Yeah, but he thinks we're He-Man, then. Hmm. He-Man, have you always been that thin You say, is life? it He-Man? Cause my answer is yes. The man laughs and says, good, let's get started then. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Destroy yourself, yeah. I don't know, I was taking it, maybe he was just calling me He-Man because he knew how much we hated He-Man. Yeah. yeah. Or he was like, hey, man. And we're like, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, you might have just said, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're just hey, so confused man. with hate that, that you just yeah. thought it was he, man. We're so focused on hating he, man. <laughs> it's perfect. It's all you. When you're a hammer, uh, everything you see is a nail, right? Well, this guy's asking us to destroy something. Yeah. And right. I want to know what it is. I got us. <laughs> what?
What is that? What is that prompt? It's just literally takes that literally. Okay. Step one: steal He Man's girl. Step two: steal her back. Step oh. three: profit. Step four: <laughs> repeat step two until you're dead. This should be easy enough, right? You start to get an idea of how things work. <laughs> oh. Okay. Interesting. Steal He Man's girl, then steal her back. <laughs> yeah. So you're stealing her profit. for He Man? Yeah. Yeah. To give back. He-Man? <laughs> I don't know. Steal her. Don't steal her back. What was, what was He-Man's girl? How steal something back? Uh, She-Ra? No, she was like his friend, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Who was He-Man's girlfriend? Oh. Like, she might have been her sister or something. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I don't remember. I'm not going to look it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Steal her back. Profit. Repeat step two until you're dead. <laughs> Keep stealing her back until you're dead. It's so easy. He-Man's girlfriend name is Tila. Oh, Tila. That's Tila. right. I do remember Evil Lynn. Skeletor's girlfriend. She is the captain of the royal guard at the palace of Eternos. Whoa, she looks like you a You say super thank you for the excellent plan. I should call my friend Beast Man and get started on this right away. Greater than you continue. After a few minutes of playing games with Beast Man, who was actually very nice, you finally get bored. You <laughs> ask him where the nearest town is. He tells you that it would be best to head to the city center since there are a lot of people there. But why, you ask? Yeah, why? <laughs> so he can be seen with He-Man's girl? Maybe, like, yeah, get the word floating oh, yeah. around? For sure. Because there's cheating, and then there's everyone knowing that you got cheated on. Is it Tila, T-E-L-A? E E E L A. T E E L A. And she looks like a school teacher. It's weird. Yeah. As his as his girlfriend. <laughs> Perfect marketing for kids. Yeah, she <laughs> looks more like a What Skeletor is like? You say, you boo. I'm supposed to be stealing Tila and then stealing her back. How does that forward the plan? It doesn't matter, she'll still be coming after you anyway. So long as you don't leave the house, you won't be missed, Beast Man responds. So you agree and head towards the city. Your journey takes several hours due to traffic jams. When you arrive, you find that the city center is almost completely deserted. Oh. What the hell? Why is nobody here? Hello? Standing there is he, man. My... Okay, my internet crapped out for a minute there. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, can you still hear us? Yeah, I'm good now. Okay. City center is almost completely deserted. I feel like Key Man's setting us up for a battle. Yeah. He's probably going to pull our pants down or something, but we're not looking. Oh. <laughs> you say, this seems like a trap. He Man walks into the city square, looking beautiful as always. He smiles. So you're here to kill me, huh? He asks. <laughs> Beast Man steps up to He-Man and raises his hand. Ooh. Please, sir, may I speak with the champion? <laughs> He-Man turns to you and frowns. Yeah, tell him to fuck off. <laughs> Beast Man sighs, shrugs, and heads over to a nearby building. Uh, well, oh. I tried. I'm gonna go get a coffee. Let me know if he kills <laughs> you or not. Thanks, Beast Man. 
Useless. Okay, I got something. You got it, Mike, or what? Uh, no, you can do this one, and I'll just see if I can adjust this one or whatever later. Oh, Beast Man is the, the guy I'm thinking of. There's a bunch of fun characters from He-Man. Moss Man. Uh, Man of Many Faces. <laughs> you show He-Man pictures on your phone of his girlfriend naked. <laughs> He-Man gets angry and grabs your arm. If you touch me again, I swear I will break every bone in your body. Oh. Beast Man comes back with a big bag of weed and a small bottle of vodka. <laughs> Here, take these and enjoy your evening. And remember, He-Man is watching you. <laughs> Good job, Beast Man! <laughs> Good job, Beast Man, really calming things down. Oh, God. That's how he resolves uh, conflict. <laughs> it's not a bad strategy, honestly. Oh, yeah. You Ram again. Man enters the square and whispers something into He-Man's ear. Suddenly, He-Man points his finger at you and begins chanting, Kill the Ram Man. <laughs> you run away screaming while being chased by He-Man who keeps yelling, Kill the Ram Man. You reach the stadium just in time to escape He-Man's wrath when he shoots a fireball at you. Oh. Luckily, you were hiding under one of the stands. Okay. Uh, so every time you type next, that's pretty much the same thing as typing the word you yes yeah i didn't yeah i, I screwed that up a couple times i think it, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. it'll insert it if you don't because it's it, like but... a first person thing so i didn't mean it to be like you ram, ram man you know what I mean? uh, it should be like you notice ram man or something right yeah 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 can we fall back and try that and just change that one word and see how much it changes sure it? sure let's see what happens yeah, I'd like to know. Uh, fall back to Rambat? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, I should have fixed the grammar, but oh well. That's okay. Now it's good. You notice Ram Man enters the square and whispers something into He-Man's ear. Beast Man goes over to you, puts his hands around your throat, and throws you into the air. As you fall down, you realize that you're falling through space and time. Whoa. You try to scream, but nothing happens. Suddenly, you wake up. You're lying in bed. A strange feeling hits you. You slowly open your eyes. Suddenly, you feel sick. What? It changed uh, it a lot. <laughs> oh my god, I'm pregnant! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm not ready to be a father. You get your inhaler and take a deep breath. Then you cough it up. You feel better, but you just wish you had never gotten involved with Beast Man. <laughs> In the morning, you meet up with Beast Man who gives you a ride back to the stadium. You're glad you decided to stay and play along with the game. At last, you know what it means to win. Okay. <laughs> Beast Man's gonna think he's the father now. <laughs> yep. This is Skeletor's origin story. Yeah. You say, oh my god, I'm pregnant. After a few weeks, you go home with the baby. The day before the baby is born, <laughs> you suddenly remember that you forgot to wear your ring. You rush out of the hospital room and run back to the stadium only to see He-Man holding a gun to the door. <laughs> I think you should come with us, He-Man says. What? I'm about to give birth. So I ran in the middle of <laughs> giving birth to the stadium to get my ring, which who cares about my ring? That's, that's someone else. Not that important. Huh? I don't know who is that. that? Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn. Is that Skeletor's uh, 
wife or yeah. whatever. Girlfriend. Girlfriend or you notice wife Evelyn in the stands. She looks like she wants to help you somehow, but is confused. Oh. Why aren't they letting me inside? She asks. Because they found out I stole your boyfriend, He Man answers. That's why, Evelyn says. Uh, and you know what else? They found out I was having sex with Beast Man. That <laughs> bitch. You look at Evelyn and ask, who's bitch? <laughs> yeah, they gave me this big old bag of weed. I don't know, one thing just led to another. <laughs> it turns out he's a amorphous uh, sex uh, minor cheater person thing. Bag of weed, thing of vodka, you're Tiny thing of vodka, tiny, tiny bottle of vodka. <laughs> It's where the computer is having like uh, misunderstandings between itself. It's like that yeah. bitch. Who's, who's bitch? Yeah. I know. yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Are we calling Beast Man that bitch? <laughs> they found out I was having sex with uh, Beast Man. So, uh, Evel Evelyn having sex with Beast Man. Who's bitch? Yeah. Who's the bitch? Who? Please, tell us who the bitch is in this situation. Beast Man sounds like a cool guy. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> he really does. He's, he's the <laughs> most cool guy of this whole story. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep. That was our shot. <laughs> Let's see if the plan worked. Look at Evelyn and notice a tiny twinkle in her eyes. She's been distracting He-Man this whole time. Get He-Man. Now, greater than you argue with Evelyn, she's doing exactly what I told her to do. She's trying to distract me from our child's birthright. He-Man yells, Evelyn, if you really cared about our son, you wouldn't be doing anything except cheating on him. You should be thankful that I've given you a second chance at life. What? I'm yeah. so confused. I am so confused by that. You should be lucky I didn't kill you. So, yeah, exactly. You have to remember that Skeletor talks like this. <laughs> You boobs, you bumbling boobs. <laughs> that's that's a classic Skeletor right there. Yeah. She's trying to distract me from our child's birthright, He-Man yells. <laughs> yeah. She's doing exactly what I told her to do. Yeah. She's trying to distract me from our child's birthright, He-Man yells. <laughs> so wait a minute. So we're pregnant with He-Man's <laughs> son? <laughs> oh. It's what it is. Yeah. I think You so. see the principal of the school walk into the stadium and says, you kids are in a lot of trouble. <laughs> All right. Beast Man runs outside and screams, he's got molested baby on his back. What? Then, he runs to the stadium entrance. The principal <laughs> sees Beast Man running towards him and starts shooting him in the chest. Whoa. Beast Man falls backwards and lands oh. face first in the ground. Not Evelyn Beast runs Man. over to Beast Man and kneels next to him. Oh. Molest, it's a kill got, and a fallback. He's got molested oh baby. <laughs> now that's oh a t-shirt. Wow. <laughs> it just sounds like teenagers playing. <laughs> yeah, it's just like something, yeah. That's like just their school meme is like, he's got molested baby on his back. Oh, no. I love it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> He's got molested baby on his back. But we fell back, so that one didn't happen then? Uh, no, that's just for falling backwards. And a, is that a kill or a death? Uh, Who shot? The principal sees Beast Man running towards him and starts shooting with a test. So the principal oh, kills not... Beast Man? Well, he's not dead. I guess he's, he's not dead yet. Not okay. dead yet. Okay. He can and then, be saved. And then Evelyn, who was our girlfriend but was cheating on us with Beast Man. It <laughs> understood that it understood that you meant to type principal and you had a typo of principal 
principal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't mind typos. It sees right That's through. Amazing. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, Evelyn's tending to Beast Man. What are we gonna do with this baby? <laughs> I feel like He Man's like the what's his name from Saved by the Bell? A Zach character? Well, uh, Zach Morris. Zach Morris, yeah. yeah. Zach, Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash. We give birth. Next time. Yeah, right on. Next time at Bayside High School. Also, what's the inside joke with the principals? It's, he's got Melissa baby on his back. It's like <laughs> something know. that makes him pull out his gun and start shooting. <laughs> Hearing the words you never want to hear you freeze in place. Oh. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power, what the fuck, He-Man? You're already He-Man, not Pants Adam, there was no need for that. Oh. Suddenly, oh. you feel a burning sensation all over your body. Oh. It feels like an electric shock. You gasp and drop your pistol, you can't even move. You're being electrocuted by Beast Man. The pain yeah. is so intense, Whoa. you actually lose consciousness. All you can think about is how you're going to escape this nightmare. Okay, I got it. All right. <laughs> you hear a baby, baby's voice. I have the power! <laughs> and your half, half baby, half Skeletor, Venus <laughs> escapes the womb and kills He-Man. <laughs> He's got molested baby on his back. <laughs> Who's got molested baby on the back now? He knows. <laughs> He's got molested baby on his back. <laughs> Look, how you put a he man. <laughs> you pee your pants while yeah. unconscious. Yeah, Haman gets a video of it on his <laughs> cell phone and posts it all over Twitter and the school's Facebook name page. Is, the is principal Haman. takes out his gun and shoots Beast Man in the head. Oh, whoa! He drops the baby and the gun. The baby cries and wails. Oh. The principal then shoots himself in the head. Whoa. The baby yeah. dies and you don't care anymore. Okay. There's a kill and two yeah. uh, two kills and a death. Well, the principal shoots Beast Man. He shoots himself. The baby then dies in an unspecified way. So, okay. yeah, kills two. And <laughs> and I can totally see like a kid whose name is Haman just telling everyone to call him Haman. Yeah, right <laughs> now. Haman. Uh, Come on. Our poor baby. It got dropped. Yeah. That was the molested baby on his back. <laughs> yeah. Now we see. Now they've they've ruined the joke by killing our baby. <laughs> it was just a funny thing we said to each other in school, and now it reminds us of the, of the day a principal shot Beast Man in the head. Drop the baby and kill himself. Yep. Happy birthday to Skeletor! You scream, no, what have you done? He man stands still and smiles, he says, I guess things worked out better than I could have hoped. You feel a little less alone now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Did we just have a bonding moment with He man?
Or is He Man just rubbing it in our face? But we're evil, so we like that he's evil, maybe? Maybe it's like a Joker situation? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh. I got something. You got it, Mike? Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. He man walk over to you and pull down your pants. What the hell are you doing? You ask. Nothing. I'm here to make sure you survive this ordeal. Uh, you what? start crying. No, no, please don't kill me. He man pulls your dick out of your pants and licks your blood off of it. Ugh. Please, just let me finish. What? This is weird. <laughs> dick blood? Yeah, we've dipped in some. Uh, some He-Man fanfic uh, <laughs> forum that's been buried for years and years, and we yep. <laughs> let him finish. <laughs> yeah. uh, By the power of Grayskull? You have the power! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. Keep it simple. You say, okay, and put your dick back in your pants. What? He-Man walks over to you and lifts up your shirt. Shit, I knew you were a bad boy. You moan as He-Man starts licking your neck. Uh, you taste good, you know that, right? You moan louder. He-Man begins sucking your cock. Oh. Uh, Is that a whoopee? Uh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. I mean, we didn't, we didn't finish yet. I'll count it. Nice. So that's how, why he was mean to us all these years. Yeah, it's kind of just like the, the girl that teases you, but she secretly had a crush. It's like a Helga Pataki situation. Mm -hmm. Got a Hey Arnold. <laughs> Uh -huh. yep, now. You say, I'm a naughty skeleton. Call me a naughty skeleton. Dot. He-Man continues to suck your cock until you come hard inside your mouth. He-Man grabs your limp dick and puts it back in your pants. Well, you're alive now, but you'll always be a loser. <laughs> this was a waste of time and money. <laughs> I hope you die soon because you're not getting any younger. Oh my god! God! Jesus Christ! He hit what it and quit it and made us almost kill herself. Yeah. Wow. Oh. I'm gonna, I consider that the same whoopee, though. Yeah, yeah it's a whoopee, but wow, that's like... <laughs> yeah, jeez. You say, you're the real monster. He-man, he-man laughs. You fall asleep again. Wow. That's like, okay. yeah. Now I now He-Man makes sense why Skeletor yeah. has an unending hatred for He-Man. That yeah. is the shittiest no day wonder. of anyone's life. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that being anybody's breakup. Like, I don't care what the situation was before. You have got to hate that person. This was Principal a waste dead. of time and money. That's a perfect breakup line, though. Well, this yeah. was a waste of time and money. I hope you die soon. <laughs> uh. So the principal's dead. Our best friend, Beast Man, is dead. Our girlfriend is with the guy who's dead. We had learned that our girl, uh, Evil Linda. Uh, was fucking our best friend. Yeah. And then we get our dick socked in front of everyone. <laughs> and then we get told off. 
that we're a loser. Hey, uh, Tony's calling. You wake up in bed. Prince Adam asks you how you're doing after yesterday's crazy events. I didn't have anything to do with that, by the way, Prince Adam says. Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for saving my ass last night, I owe you one. Prince Adam goes on to tell you that he's going to go get some people who will help in the reconstruction of the city. Mm. He also mentions that he needs more men to fight the new Eternians coming to attack the city. So you're leaving? You ask. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to save the world, so you're leaving? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> You're leaving me at home alone. Uh, and the He-Man universe does—does does nobody know that Prince Adam and He-Man are the same person? Or... Exactly, they don't. Are yeah. they? I didn't and know Ranger that. Ranger and Battle Cat are also the same. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Yeah. Are Isn't they like secret a... identities or something? Yeah, they're secret identities. <laughs> Even though He-Man's just a nakeder version. Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's like even more uh Prince Adam with no shirt is He-Man basically. It's yeah, it's even more confused again. Even more stupid than he than Superman. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Leave a bunch of voicemails for He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you mean it? Please take us back. Please. What a to what a toxic relationship though. Yeah, oh yeah. Classic key man abuser. <laughs> He's so mean to me, but I still like him. I don't know. <laughs> you see Prince Adam start packing his things. Please don't leave me, you boob, you say. Prince Adam looks at you and says, don't worry, I won't leave you. I mean, why would I? I'll just stay here and be your personal slave until you're ready to take the throne yourself. What do you say, love of mine? You nod and smile. You kiss him goodbye and pack up your stuff. All right. <laughs> Seems like a well, nice <laughs> for such a horrific story. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's odd because now, like, Prince Adam was leaving, but now it looks like Skeletor's leaving. Yeah. Well, time to go our separate ways. There you go. Yeah. We don't need you. You move out of the castle and go your own way. You find a small castle to rent on the other side of town and take odd jobs here and there. Work at a cafe. Eventually, you manage to make enough money to buy a house of your own. I like to call it a layer, yeah. but I guess you could call it a That out. is so funny. That, that's what I have. <laughs> Oops. You, I should have just done that for that one. That'd be good, but if you have deal with a realtor, you just always call it a layer. Yeah. Like, I'm looking Turn for a layer. Turn it into layer. Greater than you time passes. Year 30, it's been a year since the first invasion happened. The Eternian Empire has been losing territory and resources day by day. Whoa. They've lost most of their territories to the Alliance, and their borders have become increasingly porous. Okay. Whose side are we on? Yeah. Oh, here, I'll be right back. You say, I guess I'll fix this lair up to look like a giant skull. You decide <laughs> to build a huge fortress around the skull. You spend hours drawing schematics on paper and writing notes on them. Okay. You draw various rooms, corridors, passageways, etc. You draw a room where you keep your collection of skulls. You draw another room that contains a big furnace which you use to melt iron bars to create weapons for the army. Oh, oh. nice. Okay. That all makes sense. Oh. This is like He-Man Zero right now. Oh, whoa! Mm -hmm. Got various rooms. Collection of those skulls. Big furnace. Yeah! 
I'll make a new beast man. One that can't <laughs> <Exactly>. die. <laughs> Okay. You build another room with walls filled with photos of your evil friends from high school. You draw pictures of them having fun, drinking beer, partying, fighting each other, etc. You draw a picture of you lying naked on top of one of them. Ooh. You draw a picture of you holding a knife to their throat. Oh. You draw a picture of you stabbing them repeatedly in the eyes. Okay, not You cool. draw a picture of you stabbing them through the heart. Oh, well... We are skeletons. Yeah. Hmm. I like how it started off having fun, drinking beer, partying, fighting <laughs> each other, getting stabbed by me, getting stabbed in the heart. Yeah. It, it was nice uh, progression yeah. of escalation there. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I think this is a good <laughs> end. Yeah. This is, that's a good end to it. <laughs> And then he man the series begins. You arrive this to the Lair's garage on Saturday. Your minions have assembled and are standing at the ready. You look at your minions and name them one by one. Name, jockstrap age, 23 hair color, brown eye color, blue species, human sex, male height, 5 feet 9 inches weight, 110 pounds favorite food, bacon, cheeseburgers, Jock ice cream, strap. pizza, pork rinds, shrimp cocktail la. Dude, what kind of roll call is that? It's Whoa, only the one guy. It has never done that before. <laughs> Name Jockstrap. <laughs> never forget the enemy in the uh, attorney known as Jockstrap. Uh, that's a great. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. I think that's a good end. I think it's, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> next time we have you on, we'll do the, the post, the sequel to He Man. That sounds yes. great. <laughs> we'll get the full He Man trilogy. Check out the other names. Uh, and this guy jockstrap is 5'9 and he weighs 110. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's a good place to end it for today. That's great. Yeah. I had a great time. Thanks for joining us <laughs> again, for... Mike. Yeah. Thank you for helping us figure out how uh, He Man started. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, you could catch Mike every Monday, or how often do you guys do in Meltdown Island? Uh, we're doing Meltdown Island every Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. I'm doing the Planet Ed Training Center show Saturdays at 5 p.m. Um, I'm guesting on other stuff, doing other stuff. You know. Uh, does Is there a Meltdown Island Facebook page that I can link to? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. I'm dropping it in chat. Check out Meltdown Island. It's, it's chaos, but it's fun. They've been doing like uh, putting their faces on things and doing scenes and stuff. It's hard to explain, but it's fun to watch. So. Uh, well, thanks for joining us, everybody. See you tomorrow yeah. at 8 p.m. Tell your Goodbye, friends everybody. and subscribe. We're trying to get to 100. Or I'll just follow. Following's free. So if you liked it, <laughs> give us a follow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye.